All right, so last but not least, the last thing we need to do is just cut off our part. So we need to create a cutoff operation, just like we've done in our first exercise, to come over here and cut off our part from the rest of our stock. So we only have all the operations done and the part on the right side as our final product, okay? So come over here under Toolpath and select Cutoff. Select the top left point over here, and then come all the way down and select the OD Cutoff Right tool and go ahead and call it cutoff operation. All right, now that you're done with that, go to cutoff parameters, and we're gonna leave everything the same. It's gonna be 0.1 for the entry as it enters your part. Retract radius is gonna retract every time it, and it comes down 0.1, and will retract back up, so it'll keep coming down until it finishes your part. For the X tangent point, we're gonna leave this at zero as well as the back face stock at zero. We're not gonna leave any stock left, and we're gonna machine this straight to the zero point. But if you want to leave this at zero, you will need to make sure that the front radius is selected, not the back radius. This way, if this is at zero and it's uh, machining to the front of the radius of the tip of the tool, then it will come down a little bit actually past the zero point, And that's exactly what we want. You want it to come down a little bit past the zero point. Otherwise, you're going to see some burrs left over, not just on the stock, but on the part as well. Back face. This is where it measures from the tip of the tool. And this is where you would still need to tell it, hey, I need it to go a little bit past our part. So you would make this a negative value. So make sure that the front radius is selected and we'll leave everything the same. OK, except go to lead in and lead out and just make sure that the lead in is straight down. Lead out is straight up. OK, so one should be the lead in should be at negative 90 in the angle and the lead out should be at 90 degrees. Select OK and OK. And that's exactly what you should see. You should see your part disappear, meaning it cut off your part and now the part fell off. That's why you don't see it. So come back, come here and select all your toolpath and select verify simulation. Let's go ahead and back plot that and verify that in Mastercam that it works in the Mastercam simulation. So I'm going to make it color and make the toolpath show up. And I'm just going to go ahead and play everything. Let me go ahead and step first through the first four. So this is the first one, facing operation, roughing operation, groove operation, finishing operation, and last but not least, I'm going to slow this down a little bit. There's your cutoff, and you see that your tool actually, your part actually fell off, and that's exactly what you should show up at, and you know and you verify this is done correctly. If you still see a part over here, then you might see some burrs that are left over on the side of the part or here that might be attached together still and that's why your part is still showing but your part should disappear just like you see on the screen right here and this concludes exercise number two